Welcome to Annie Up, Double XL's podcast where the hip hop and sports worlds collide. The Double XL staff, along with key members of the hip hop community, will be getting listeners caught up on all the major sports news from the past week and take a look at the upcoming games ahead. You'll never know who may stop by on this week's episode. This is hip hop on a higher level. Yo, 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 yo. This is Manny at Double XL, Annie Up, episode number three. Thank you for listening with us, my partner in crime. Yo, yo, what up, what up? It's Roger, and today we got another special guest with us. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. What's going on? This is Queens. Queens' <laughs> very own Shaheen Reed, XXL alumni. Yes, sir. I got a couple of covers on the on the wall, a couple of nice little articles in the archive, and I'm happy to be here. Sports. Let's do it. Dope. Thank you, Shaheen, for coming by. So, obviously, being a Queens dude. Yes. How do yes, you feel indeed. about, um, you know, it's sad to, you know, sad day for the uh, Mets? Obviously, series. Have you have you ever heard the song "Any Heartbreak" <laughs> by New Edition? Man. Times that, times ten is how I'm feeling right now. I just, uh, well, first of all, like I say, I'm proud of my guys because, you know, if if somebody told us, hey, all Mets fans, if somebody said that to be at this time last year. Your team is gonna go to the World Series. Your your pitchers are gonna develop that quick, and and you know you you'll have one of the most exciting seasons. I think this is probably the most exciting season we've had in like the past ten, fifteen years at least. Definitely, you know, Mike Piazza and them when they went to the series in two thousand, it was exciting, but that was fifteen years ago. So, you know, our most exciting season in fifteen years. I went to a few games and. Uh, I'll take it I, The World Series It was It was It wasn't It was a little heartbreaking Like I'm I'm heartbroken But it was more Frustrating than anything Because We could've won it you Absolutely know, we, we was right there We could've won it And Hey Headphones is rocking <laughs> <laughs> we, was, we was We was right there though We was right there We could've won it And um why did we we blew like all the games we lost? We were actually leading, yeah. And um, besides that one game where they blew us out, I think it was like nine three nine to three. Yeah, yeah, that was that was ugly. Every other game we could have won. We was there. We we, we we gave it away. Man. We had the lead in the, in all the games. Actually, you know that that um second game we definitely blew that game. Uh, but we didn't want the chip. Honestly, being a Mets fan, I feel like the Mets committed too many errors and. Kansas City knew how to capitalize on those errors. You know what it was? It was everything, and I, I thought we was going to prove the people wrong. It was everything that they said that was going to come and bite us in the ass. It came and bit us in the ass. It was the yep. defense. Like, our defense been good all the way up to that time. Like, I mean, you know, we don't have Ozzy Smith <laughs> in the infield or anything like that, but our defense was pretty good. You know, even Daniel Murphy, who... Um, you know, early on in his career, they, they made the <laughs> blasphemous decision to put him in the outfield, yep. and he was absolutely <laughs> horrific out there. He's a, he's a decent second baseman. You know, his natural position is third base, right? And I thought he did very well at third this year while David Wright was out mm-hmm. um, with his ailing back. I thought um, Murphy did very well at third, and I, I was thinking like. Or maybe when David Wright comes back, he might go to first base, put Daniel Murphy at third, and they might have to trade Duda because it seemed to me that Terry Collins had a in and out of love affair with Lucas Duda this year. Like yeah. he, he he put up some power numbers. He he damn near hit thirty home runs again, but he was he was inconsistent this year. This was like one of his most inconsistent years. He kinda digressed. So when the trade deadline was coming up, I was like, okay, well maybe they might trade Duda. And Daniel Murphy actually is pretty good at first base too. He is because uh, I, I I know when he started he was playing there um, for a while and he was under the tutelage of Keith Hernandez for a little bit and he was helping him. Keith was actually helping Ike Davis. Remember Ike when he was on the yeah. team a, a while ago too. <laughs> but the biggest stage, Murphy makes an error. His his bat goes dead. Cespedes stops hitting. Can't catch balls. Um, <laughs> oh man. Um, Travis Darno can throw anybody out. It, it was bad. It was it was almost like they had the cheat code on MLB the show for stealing bases. <laughs> it was it was bad. It was really really bad. 
And um, David Wright couldn't hit, man. I I, I felt bad because, you know, we all know what happened in 06 and 07. Yes, mm-hmm. fans, where we had those collapses. Now, that was heartbreaking. That, that was. was that was heartbreaking. That was like, okay, because I was gassed. That's the that's the biggest 07, thing. I was gassed. I we going to and World Series again. Oh, yeah. Nobody couldn't tell me. So... After those two years, I got really humbled. That's why, like, when you when you saw me on on the Instagram or saw me on Twitter talking about the World Series, even throughout the playoffs, I, I didn't really get too gassed. I was keeping it humble, you know. I was I was staying hopeful and you know prideful, but I was just keeping it humble. And then, sure enough, we ran into that bus. So where we re- Kansas City, good team, man, but we could have beat them. We could have beat those guys. Yeah. And I think that a few teams that were more experienced could have beat those guys. But, mm. hey, man, they earned it. They, they, I think they were behind in about six games during the playoffs. Like yeah. that, that, that one game in, in Houston. Shout out to Paul Wall. I was out there with <laughs> T. Ferris <laughs> and those guys. Yeah, I was out there with T. Ferris when they was actually playing Houston in the playoffs. And, you know, those dudes was giving, you know, Houston gave away a good game, too. But, you know, Kansas City, they, they're they not fluky champions. They, they're champions. Nobody could take it away. Um, their first chip in 30 years. And um, they're an aggressive team, man. They remind me of the, of the old Cardinals with uh, uh, Vince Coleman and Willie McGee and those guys who I absolutely hated growing up. <laughs> Terry Pendleton, who I hated growing up. And... Um, Jack Clark, who I hated growing up, I like I, I hated the Cardinals with a passion. I, I was almost ready to vomit <laughs> when the Mets picked up Vince Coleman in his later years, and he was a bum. <laughs> I was upset. Like you know, you don't, you don't, you don't. If you're a New York team, I know it worked out well for the Yankees where yeah. they got um, Roger Clemens and Wade Boggs. Like, that worked out it yeah. was well. Yeah. And it was kind of like they stuck it to them because, you know, they got those guys when they were not quite over the hill but not quite their prime but still very... Still effective. You're still effective, man. Like, that was dope. But, you know, for me, like, if you're a Mets, you don't sign a Cardinal. If you're a Giants, you don't sign a, sign a, a Dallas Cowboy, yeah. which we actually have a guy that was on the Cowboys and he's, he's doing okay, but... <laughs> You know, I I just don't like those teams. All right. Do as Met fans, do y'all hate Daniel Murphy now? Because I feel like some of my friends were like, nah. he cost us. And I was like, how do you go from GOAT, like from hero to. to I mean, you see what my shirt say. Like, I know that people can't see it, but my shirt say loyalty. So, you know, I ride with my team. I'm, I mean, you know, Murph is a homegrown player. You know, we we've watched him. What is he, like six, seven years in the league right now? Yeah. So we watched him and we seen the growing pains. And, you know, this is a guy who, you know, I always felt could lead the league in average. And I, I think he could be a, 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 a average, and I still do. I think he could be an average king. Um, I, I still think he could be a 300-plus hitter on a consistent basis if he can stay healthy. But, you know, Daniel Murphy is a guy who's, throughout his career, he's he's been bounced around all around and you know i'm almost thinking like i hate to say it because i'm one of the people where i i don't know if i want to get rid of him yet i know his contract is up and i know he's going to take a pretty penny and i would love to have a more defensive minded second baseman but you know murphy i'm I'm almost thinking like is is, is he a guy that might be better suited to be in the american league that's for the argument yeah where he could just be a dh yeah and just worry about hitting because, um, you know, the Mets don't have a, a, a place for him. But at the same time, as a Mets fan, I'm also thinking, okay, David Wright, he's, he's, he looks like he's healthy, but if he breaks down again, mm-hmm. who are we going to have at third base? Mm, you know what I'm saying? If we let him go, we need we need – kind of Murphy's versatility even though he's not the greatest defensively like he's serviceable you know what I'm saying so we need a a serviceable he could play third he could play first which I was talking about before he could play second he could hit so I mean I never expected him when the World Series came for him to hit like six home runs that, that was absolutely insane he was you know Jesus was just 
<laughs> pretty blessing much, him. For pretty real. much. You know, he he was just he was just blessing him. <laughs> but I didn't I did not expect for him just to be put up goose eggs, disappear. Like, I thought he was gonna hit something, but you know it's funny, man, because um, baseball, it's a. Uh, it's a round to round thing. Like you could have a team that's so good in one round and then when they get to the next round, it's bad. It's you know, football, you know, me being a Giants fan, is it's kinda you know, once you get in the playoffs, you you you, you pretty much stay consistent because yeah. it's a week to week thing. So if you got the hot hand in the playoff like Eli has had, um, it's pretty much a week to week thing. Even like in basketball, like if you got a hot hand in basketball, you're gonna stay pretty hot. During the playoffs But baseball Is such a marathon Man It's like You know You play for two days Then you gotta take a day off Then you play for three straight games Like You know It's it's such a round and round thing And um he, he was terrible Like but You know you can't blame Daniel Murphy A lot of people didn't show up In the World Series David Wright Who's the captain mm-hmm. He hit a buck 85 Throughout the entire playoff I think mm-hmm. he just showed up Game 3 right Um, Yeah, yeah he had a couple He of had hits. that home run And a few RBIs On that yeah, game Yeah I mean that was cool mm-hmm. I mean that, that was cool We needed that um, Cespedes Who's To me He's the heart and soul Of the offense Like if, if anything It's like damn But I'm not a person who You know I just take it as They had a, a bad series I, I don't I don't get mad at the team Like I, I want to see The whole team come back Yeah I want to see what these guys Can do As a collective With The pitching staff a, a year wiser and a year, you know, experience. You know, being in the World Series, that's the experience of a lifetime. So you saw how Harvey, Harvey, from game one to the last game that he pitched, it was night and day. Like he was yeah. decent in game one, but he was dominant in the last game he pitched. Mm-hmm. And and um, I was I was I was with the fans too. I wanted to see him come out for that ninth inning. Yeah, like I know the ninth inning he gave it up, and uh, maybe Terry Collins should have got him pulled the hook. Like once the first guy got on base, but I think he he was doing so well, and he's you know going to be the, one of the heart and soul players of the team, and he's one of the faces of the franchise, if not the face of the franchise right now because Mm -hmm. I you know I I can't say David Wright is the franchise uh, player right now I think it is Matt Harvey and DeGrom and and Syndergaard those the three headed monsters that we have so Mm -hmm. he wanted the ball I was watching it on TV the guy you know um the pitching coach said you coming out he said no way no way (laughs) And I love that. I love that. And you know, win, lose, or draw. I gotta ride with that. You know that that that's our guy. And 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 I love the heart that he had. I love the heart that uh, the Grom had throughout the playoffs. I love Syndergaard, Syndergaard coming out man. and sending Stand that message. Out. That, that first, first pitch? pitch. Sheesh, man. And, and and I love the shit that he talk. Can I curse, man? You could do all, whatever I, you I want. I love man. the shit that he talk. He's like, if you you gotta see me, you want to see me? I'm sixty feet away. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I, I, I love Impressive. that. Conference, like and, yeah, that's beautiful. Right. So it it just showed me that the team they got a lot of heart, and you know they were inexperienced. We got we got a we got to clean up a few areas, but for the most part, we we not too far. Nice. You know, we we not too far. We got to clean up a couple of areas, but we not too far. Passionate Mets fan right here. Man. I like to I respect that. that. Yeah. I respect I'm, that. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm optimistic. When you have that pitching style, like people don't even understand. Like yeah, Wheeler too. Come Wheeler. Back. Is one of the greats Yeah Like people don't Really understand Like Sandy Alderson God damn He did a fantastic job With mm-hmm. again, And Sorry. you know I know Willow Was up for trade too And I did not want To see him trade it Because I think Willow is gonna be special And he's a, he's a competitor For him to call Sandy And say yo I don't wanna get traded I wanna be with the team I think he's a competitor And he showed a lot of flashes When he was on the mound A couple of years ago mm-hmm. And we got the home guy Steven Matz Who's going to be good Yeah Young like, player like, trust From me, New York too From well, New York Homegrown He's going to be good We're going to have A dominant pitching staff We just have to figure out Our bullpen I mean You know Jesus Christ We got one guy Who gets suspended For half the year Comes back for what Two games Yeah And gets suspended again <laughs> Mejia Like <laughs> he, he 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 was feeling good He just was like I don't give a fuck <laughs> Like you know, he's like Puff make his own rolls, nigga. Fuck your rules. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like he just was on some shit. Then um 
you got to expect um what's what's the other guy the flamethrower I'm I'm forgetting his name Clipper I think he uh, Clipper I, needs to go he's gone um a, a familiar of course he, he's here f- for the long run I like Robles uh Nice might have to go in the bullpen I think so or we might or we may have to trade him I, I still like Nice he's he, I got something for homegrown people too you know he he's a homegrown guy so and he to me he pitched he pitched well you know he he, he was good this year he wasn't is he an ace no but i thought he was very serviceable he gave us close to 200 innings he did very well in the i don't think he gave up a run right in the, no. in the playoffs mm-hmm. he, didn't, he didn't give up a run i thought he was great bartolo i think it's the i think it's the end for him but i, I he was a great pickup yeah uh he has a great spirit i thought he was contagious uh, I would have liked to see Juan Uribe play a little bit more. I know we didn't see him. I think we saw him once. You know, shit. Don't, in the, first, the only time he played, he got two two RBIs. The only time he got to bat, he got two RBIs, and he has two rings. I think you 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 want him in the World Series. Like we we needed to find a way to we needed to find a way to get him in there for but, sure. For and sure, work out. But shout out to the Kansas City Royals. Our soundboard guy Chuck over here is smiling at us right now with his KC hat, you know, in front of two Queens guys. But it's all good, you know. It's a tough team. Yeah, no, they did their thing. Definitely, definitely. They're they gonna be, they're gonna be right back in the hunt for for a few years. Now the thing with with Kansas City, as I pour a little something, Let me pour it out. Um, I'm probably trash right now, honestly. The thing with Kansas City is, <laughs> and it, it's it's a thing that's plaguing the match too, is that. All right, we have a team in place, but are we going to be able to spend the money to not only keep the team intact, but elevate them? Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cespedes for the Mets is going to cost $130 million at the least. Yeah. You know, so are are they willing to pay it? Based on what he did in the World Series and the playoffs, I'm not sure, but... He damn, he got us there. Yeah, I'm about to say without you know, him, what you even there? Season, he, I mean, he, yeah. So I think you got to take a shot. I don't, I don't see anybody else that's. Um, I mean, Sandy always got a trick up his sleeve, but I don't really see anybody else that's that's as exciting as Cespedes and bring what he brings to the table. He's a five-two player, somebody who they was putting in the MVP ballot for just being on the team for two months, and Kansas City. I know Kane, Lorenz and Kane is up, up for arbitration. So are they gonna are they gonna trade him? I mm. think he's I think he's much better as a leadoff guy. Like I I think um, Escobar. Kane, I, you don't like yeah, Escobar? As a no, I I I mean with Escobar there, he has to be a leadoff guy. But I think on another team, like even if Kane was actually on the Mets, I think he would be an excellent leadoff oh, hitter. For sure. I, I I think like. I mean, of course, with Escobar, you have to keep him in the, in the top spot. Right. But any other team, I don't think Kane is the... He's not the prototypical third hitter, what he is in Kansas City. I think that if he's on another team and he's able to lead off, he's going to give you 3-10 average. He's going to hit about 25 home runs because they're gonna get a, he's going to get a lot of those first pitch fastballs. And I think this year he stole about 25 stolen bases. Yeah. I think he gets you forty stolen bases if if he's um on another team batting leadoff. <laughs> At the very least, he's good. So I know his contract is up. And um, what's the other guy who was? Oh, this is me. I'm sorry. What's the other guy who contract is up? Um, the right fielder who got injured. Uh, is it Gordon? Gordon's a free agent. Now. Gordon is a free agent now. He definitely does that See? that uh, ninth inning home run. Yeah. All familiar. Man, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, bad memory. It wasn't the Mets. Uh, it wasn't the Mets series at all. I'm like you don't even see familiar like throw a pitch and somebody homer off it. Like I, I don't think it happened since July. That was like, crazy. That was that was a bad omen. Yeah, that was one of those things as a Mets fan where you like, <laughs> oh, it's curtains. Yeah, this is like this, damn. This this really is feeling like a rap. We gonna we gonna we gonna stay vigilant. Yeah. <laughs> because that's the thing when you have like the the pitching staff is crazy. So when you have like 
the Grom who you could throw out. It's like he's always going to give you a shot. When you have Syndergaard, you're always going to have a great chance of winning the game. It's just the, the bats were quiet. <laughs> and those are two with the with the long hair, right? Yeah. yeah. The Grom, the Grominator and Thor. They need to they need to start something with that. It doesn't Wheeler too? Didn't Will doesn't Wheeler, Wheeler, Wheeler have, have hair? Got a buzz, he got a yeah. buzz cut now. He got a buzz cut now? He had it before. Uh, See, you need yeah. to grow it out because those three together, that'd be that's it. That's that's perfect marketing right there. That's just, Matt's signature Matt's. I should, yeah. I should be the agent, honestly. If y'all hear this, just just hire me as your agent. Hire we, man. we got a good team for the future, man. Like yes. I, I I believe, you know, the Will Ponds, hopefully they could get some more paper where we could spend some paper, but I really believe in Sandy. He he's done a great job. He struck while, you know, at the right time. Like he, you know, us. We we always want to win now. It's like win now, win now, win now, win now, win now. But he he stayed patient. He made the right moves. Like people don't realize he 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 traded R. A. Dickey, and he got back Syndergaard mm-hmm. and Travis Darno. Like that's an amazing trade. What he did when he brought Cespedes for two prospects is an amazing trade. Um, he traded Carlos Beltran, who I don't like. Not personally, like I, I never met that guy. Like, yeah. I'm sure he's a great guy, but <laughs> no, I, tra- I can't forgive for the the strikeout with the bat on his shoulder. Oh yeah, like, I can't, I can't, for, I can't forgive for we that. We gave away Jose Reyes too. Jose oh, Reyes. Man. Yeah, we got a couple of picks for Jose. Yeah. But um, we got Zach Wheeler for Carlos Beltran. Yeah, you know, so Sandy is is a fantastic GM. We have a fantastic pitching staff. We got to get our um our middle relief right, and Travis Darno got to learn how to throw some people out. <laughs> Duda might have to get Duda may have to get traded. We need a better defensive first baseman. But other than that, I think we're gonna be cool. I got some sad news to share. What's that? Kobe said that he's a 200 best player in the league, man. He said he's so bad. <laughs> I couldn't believe when he said that. I was like, don't say Kobe. Don't, don't, don't do that. He was cold the other day. What was it? Four for like 11? Bro, he got stripped by um by Boogie. I couldn't believe it. Really? Yeah. It's bad. It's cookies. It's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> but, but you know what, though? You got to realize Kobe, man... He's been injured for the better part of the past two years. Right. He didn't get a chance to play at all this summer because he was still nursing his injury. So this is really like his summer league. You know, he he's coming back. And um, I think Kobe, as as the se- as season progresses, and he's a- if he's able to stay healthy, he'll be fine. I hope. You know, he'll be. He, he's one of the greats. Exactly. I know a lot of people want to just see him leave. Like today, they want to see him leave, <laughs> especially when he took the shot and the other night, and, and he's holding the the shot poles, and you know, he's, <laughs> it was an air ball. It was an air ball. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Like, I'm, I'm one of the people. I wanted to see Kobe just come to the Knicks because I'm, I'm a diehard Knicks fan, and I wanted to see him. <sighs> I wanted to see us trade Stoudemire and get Kobe and just rock with Kobe for a couple of years. Just to see, yeah. Just to see it. But, um, you know, Kobe's been playing for 20 years. Yeah, I know. I he's can't imagine years. the NBA he's, without him, man. He's one, he's one of the all-time great. He's, he's, I mean, he's a top 10. In my book, he's a top 10. I, I don't know if I could put him, like, top five. but I Yeah, think I can do I, top five. I, I think he's a top 10 player. I, I think, think he's yeah. top ten player. Absolutely. I think he's top twenty. I'm top I, I 20. got I gotta look at the ten. Not even fifteen? I gotta look at I gotta look at it because like I think Shaq is ahead of him. Um I put Shaq in his top ten. I, said, I yeah. put Shaq ahead of him. I was I would say uh Jordan is the greatest of all time. Yeah. I think Magic is the second greatest of all time. And then I can't rank the rest, but I, I would I would say Kareem, I would say Wilt, I would say Bird, um Hakeem. Co- Wow, Hakeem Olajuwon, the dream. That, wanted, I don't know if he's top ten. Hakeem, I think you got to put Oscar Robinson in there. Yeah, triple double. Um, shoot, I think LeBron might be. Oh, in LeBron, there. definitely. LeBron, yeah, top LeBron, five. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. LeBron, um, top five to me. Like I never. Right now. Shaq oh yeah, right now. Uh, right now. No, we talking about all time. All time. All yeah, time. Yeah, no, all time. Right now, LeBron to me is top Already? five, yeah. without yeah. a doubt. <laughs> I don't know if he's top top five. He to me, like look, there's the there's Jordan. Jordan. There's Magic. Magic. 
Bird. Disney. You got to put Bird in that same. Jordan Magic you would Green take, Bird. Would you? You would take Kobe. I mean, not Kobe. You would take LeBron over Bird. Uh, yeah. Oh, nah. all right. Put LeBron five. <laughs> LeBron five. But like, all right. You know what? Here's it is. <laughs> Mag- Magic. This is not in any order. Magic. Okay. Magic, LeBron, um, Jordan, of course, um, Hakeem, wow, and Bird. That's my that's my five. That'd be my five. So you put Hakeem over Shaq. Hakeem is Hakeem is the reason I like the NBA. Like I remember watching Hakeem and be like, this doesn't make any sense. How he's this big and this 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 light on the feet. I mean, I never saw Will Chamberlain actually play, but. Just looking at the stats, like yeah, he, I mean, yeah, his dominance was it's crazy. And then I, I saw the Kareem documentary the other night. I did see Kareem at the tail end of his career, but I mean, he was unstoppable. Yeah, you know, what I'm he, saying? Still, he still got what is it? He got the most points, or was it um Carmelo? I can't remember. No, no, no. Kareem is the most yeah, yeah, most in NBA history. Yeah, man. Like I remember watching Hakeem and like, bruh, and he's Nigerian. This is me, like. I'm like, man, this no, nah, this doesn't make any sense. How these this guy's is good. Is Tim Duncan in your top ten? He's the he's the best power forward ever. I don't know if he's, he's probably my top ten. Yeah, I would say he's my top low 10. key. Tim Duncan he's, is in that list, like of yeah, top ten top players. 10. Low me, key, yeah. without he's the best power forward of all time. Mr. Fundamental, without, without I a mean, doubt. I, I go on rings, man, and you know that boy got four. What no, he got five. four or five? He five. got five. Yeah. He got five. He tied Kobe. Yeah, he got that boy got five. That's so a bad like, man. He can't wait yeah. for us. Came right in the league and dominant. I mean, he came right dominant. though, but he had David Robinson though when he got he into came, the league. He came right in the league. Well, yeah, and it was David Robinson's like <laughs> towards the end of his career, and it was like perfect for them. They were like yeah, the twin, twin towers. towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They beat the Knicks. Yeah, right. And then when he told, he was talking about Hakeem, I was thinking about the ninety three, ninety four Knicks. Like, man, shit, that man. was painful. That was, I was gassed, man. You know the Knicks. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you my teams. I'm a Met fan. I'm a Giants fan and I'm a Knicks fan. Mm-hmm. I seen the Giants do it four times. Mm-hmm. I seen the Mets do it at least once. That was magical. I got spoiled and I thought they was gonna go back a few times. They never <laughs> did. But um, you know, at least I saw him do it. And the Knicks, I just want to see him do it once, just one time, and I'm fine. Yeah, I'm a Nets fan and I was, and I want to see the Knicks go to the, go to the we finals. We came so and take close, like when Jordan was out. <laughs> yeah, I said that we it. got it <laughs> It was Rockets and Knicks I, I said we got it Who was there The dream <laughs> <laughs> But that game 7 Where Starks was like 1 of 17 or Oh like man that, I was like Damn And that was the, I think they look, My birthday is June 27th So the playoffs was happening Right around right. my birthday And I was so miserable I was like Damn we so close I was like We wait all these years It's like okay First year we lost, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Okay, we in it. We get all the way to the finals and we and we just couldn't pull it off. But you know those Knicks teams, I think we needed maybe one or two more offensive players. Like our defense was such outstanding, and you know I I can't take anything away from those teams because a lot of teams with R.I.P. Anthony, Anthony Mason, Mason. And yeah. Oakley and Starks. Oakley and, was the man. Charles you Smith. Know, you know oh, he balled. Bum. Bum. <laughs> Bum. Charles Smith can't show his face in New York. We had Greg Anthony at that time, right? After he missed those two yeah. layups. Oh, my God. He yeah. can't show his face in New York. Uh, I can't. <laughs> it's, like, it's one thing where it's like, you know, Danny Murphy, he made, a, he made an error. Okay. I could forgive it. Right. Because of what but, you did for us to get yeah, to the series. But Charles Smith, he didn't hold his weight none. And he two layups. The guy is six eleven. You can't. <laughs> and you you let Scottie Pippen block like two layups. You right there in the basket, and we're going to the you going to the finals off of that. Nah, Scottie nah, Pippen one of the best defenders ever of all time. That. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't six eleven. He ain't six eleven, bro. What's your favorite Kobe memory? Because I remember there's so many, man. I remember when he put up eighty two. I remember like I was on oh, the computer. Wow. Against the Blazers, right? Against the, the Raptors. The Raptors. I remember huh? I was on the yeah. computer, and then that my was pops dynamite. were like, Kobe got 50 right now. I said, what quarter? And then he's like, he's like I think it's the second. I said, shut the, shut the fuck up. So I stopped. This is, I'm doing a paper in high school, and I go in and just watch. 
And I'm just like, this is crazy. And I remember when he went on that that crazy run when he put up 30 points a game. Yeah. And then like like it was insane. And he did the the the, the um the tomahawk um mm-hmm. dunk against the blit against the the Timberwolves. Then he went crazy on, in the garden. Yeah, that's when you know uh, I love those times. That's when Kobe was facing those rape charges. Exactly. He yeah, went man, crazy. Man, he got, he turned <laughs> up so crazy. He went that. crazy. Man, he turned up so crazy. And, you know, he's he's one of the greatest. I, you know, a lot of people don't like Kobe. They say he's selfish and everything like that. But, you know, I, I enjoy his game, especially when he's, he's at his peak and, you know, he's doing his thing. I think one of my favorite Kobe memories is just them battling the Celtics. For those two years And yeah. you know The Celtics beating them And yeah. then they, they the coming back And yeah. you know Kobe winning his first one Without um yeah. without Shaq I thought that made A really big statement And then he was able To do it back to back And get and get five rings And you know Five and twenty years Like you look at it The twenty years That he's played He has five And Duncan has five So yeah. you know Those guys have Half the championships In the, in the past two decades And um he he's such a he's such a great competitor and exactly. so fun to watch and I, I like Kobe in his later years where he's just so politically incorrect. Yeah. He says whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. It's amazing. <laughs> in interviews and you know, but it, it was it was fun watching the Mamba when the Mamba came out and he was actually making the shots and everything and you know, it like you said, it's gonna be a sad day when Kobe retires, but he's had one of the great careers and Shit, this new generation that we got, that boy Steph Curry. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's a, that's a bad man. Man, man that's, that's the a new bad Mamba. Man. He's Steph Curry is the new Mamba. That's a bad. That man. boy is just making shots like crazy, not not caring. even looking at the rim. He's making it look so effortless, and you know that's another heartbreak because the Knicks were one draft pick away I from know. picking him, mm. and they did not trade up. Like it's like. New York sports I mean besides the Yankees man Like New York sports We have a history Of getting in our own way Like I could tell you a million Like just being on the verge of greatness And fucking up Yeah We Giants going for their second Super Bowl in a row Plexico shoots himself Shoots himself We were we were like unstoppable we that year We were 10 in a row We were 10 in a row This guy shoots himself <laughs> Literally Like what the fuck the we, Mets, Everything went wrong 06 and 07 We dominated the entire year And the last two weeks of both years We give it up and we don't make the play. I mean, what was it? 07 and 08 probably. Mm-hmm. 07, we, we went to we the made. National League uh, series and we lost that. I forget I forget against the Cardinals. Who. Yeah, the Cardinals. We lost the Cardinals in 06. 07, we gave up the lead. We lost by like one game and then make it to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. 08, same thing. We we lost the lead and then make it to the playoffs. No, I think 09 was the last year we actually made it to the playoffs. So, you know, we, we've played ourselves... In so many instances, the Knicks. I mean, there's so many times where <laughs> the Knicks, we just were on, for on the precipice, that. and you know, you ain't missing the layup, mm, Charles Smith yeah. missing the layup, starts going one for seventeen. Like, we just have a history for it for for a city that's so rich in sports history. Mm-hmm. We just have a history of getting in our own way, and it's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating, but you know. We got a lot of great young players now, which which I like. I, I think all of the teams in New York have, have great young players. Like the Mets, we talked about their rotation, their pitching rotation, great young players. I like the kid Conforto, too. I think he's going to be oh, special. Yeah. It's definitely um, a staple of the Mets. You know, the Yankees got a couple of good young players that's coming up, Servino and a couple of other guys. The Knicks now. The rookie look alright. Persingas, how you feel? Persingas look good. He he looks good. Like he look he look like he gonna be about something. I mean, again, when I talk about getting in our own way, we suck for the whole year. Then we get to the last three games of the year. We want to start winning and mess up our lottery spot. Now, would I rather have a Carl Anthony Towns or Okafor, who's already killing the Okafor league? Okafor looks good. He looks like a beast. <laughs> I think he would have yeah. been great playing in New York. Um, I think Carl Anthony Towns. I wanted Ogilf- I think Ogilford to me was the best out of out of all of them. Right. Like he would have he would have been a monster in New York and, and a superstar playing in New York. So 
We got in our own way. We didn't get it. We had the fourth pick. Uh, now, I personally wouldn't have picked Porzingis mm-hmm. with the fourth pick. I, I was looking at a, a few other guys. Um, I wanted Manuel Moutier. Oh, yeah. The point th- guard. Yeah. I, th- I thought he was going to be something good. I'm, I-, I haven't been able to catch him this year. Me neither. I haven't seen his games yet. Yeah, I got to watch that. I haven't heard a lot about him, but... Um, but the, I, th- I thought, but Porzingis is doing good. I like Jerry and Grant. I call him the general. Like we we got a good couple of young players. Galloway, he he's good. So I expect the Knicks to be com- competitive. Like even the game that they had against Cleveland recently, they were competitive yeah. Yeah. up until about the last five minutes. Like I think it'll be a cool season. I think we're gonna be in a lot of games. I think we could mess around and sneak around and and grab that eighth spot. In the East, because the East is not oh, super East, dominant, but East is East is garbage. I don't have high expectations for us. East is garbage, man. Yeah. I'm watching. It's just definitely, it's definitely the Bulls and the Cavs running away with it, and then we'll see. Speaking I, on the Cavs, though, what did you think about LeBron ripping that jersey last night? Oh, I hate man. those jerseys. Those jerseys are the corniest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> for real, I don't man. understand why. Like, I thought it was. A, I think those jerseys to me. Are like cool for like us to be wearing. Yeah, like, right. You know, it's summertime. We got on the jersey. We Warm got up on or the, something with yeah. those jerseys. And, and yeah, everything. but those jerseys are corny. Like they tight and you know it's, it's whack, man. It looked like some 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 fake wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably you know, him ripping that off like that and getting so much press. We'll see what's gonna happen next year because I don't know like. How are they going to continue that? I mean, when people are like, especially LeBron, it's like clearly he doesn't like it. Like, cause this is not his first time like mm-hmm. talking about it. Like, well, he didn't talk they about don't it. They look time. good though. That's the thing. They not, they not even fresh. <laughs> you know, I might sacrifice five six points being uncomfortable if I know I'm be fresh to death on <laughs> fresh that to club. Death. <laughs> but them jerseys ain't even fresh, man. Them jerseys is wide. <laughs> Yo, do you think? The, uh, I was watching Go to State and Clippers last night. And, they hate uh, each other. Oh, they hate it. They I hate each it. other. It's, I love it. That I cannot. I, I, I will not that miss that game. That's needed in basketball. So Seth Curry is amazing, um, yeah. but the whole team, Warriors overall, are they're playing on another level. I think they they could possibly do seventy two games, man. Dude, you beat the Grizzlies by fifty the other I, night. They're That's on another a level. Team. Like. I don't, think, I don't think no team could go undefeated. No, no, not undefeated. They could probably catch, uh, meet the the Bulls. What, what year was that? Oh, was 72 that, and yeah, 10? Yeah, they probably do 72 and 10. What was their record last year? They did Those. 66. They yeah. did 66 nah, last year. they were up in sevens. No, no, no. It was 60. It was 66. It was 66. Yeah? It is 66. So, like, they can do it, but they look good. Harrison, Bar- Harrison Barnes is a problem now. If everybody says how Harrison Barnes is going to get traded to, I think. Ah, that'd be crazy to do that. They break um, it up? I hope not. I mean, Draymond Green paper. is playing out of his mind, oh, yeah. man. Draymond. Well, you know what's so good about the team? Which watching watching them is like they having fun. Yeah, they're young. They mess with each other. There's no egos involved, you know. And and they getting it done. And like everybody's just coming into their own. It's like, you know, if you've been watching the games, Clay Thompson is almost like the third option now. You know, the third or fourth option. And he's nice. He's nice. He's he's. You could argue he's, he's like the second, third best shooting guard in the league. Thank goodness they didn't trade him for Kevin Love. Right? Thank Remember God. About yeah. that? Thank God. That would have been a disaster. But it's like they're winning all these games. They don't even have their coach. But Steph Curry is just like, come on, man. I got y'all. I'm putting y'all on my back. I'm about to go win it. Don't worry about nothing. The jump is so sweet. So crazy. And they're becoming like cultural you know, Steph is like a cultural icon now where you hear him like so many of the rappers, you know, of course Drake popularized it, but mm-hmm. you know, so many of the rappers now put him in their rhymes and you go on Instagram, you see him and his wife and him and his children and his his little daughter is a superstar on social media. And it's it's really cool just to see the rise of a star as as um Kobe leaves and he starts to he starts to wind down. You see Steph Curry come up, and you know it's dope because you know Curry was injured so often in his career. Oh, like, he had the first couple of years, yeah. he was like this guy. He's not gonna live up to it. it. it Everything it is like, right. Man, what, what's gonna happen? But he he he's looking good now. And the Dan you know, William ankles. I love. I mean, the you know the West man. I mean, 
to me, the excitement over there with Curry and Russell Westbrook is really oh, coming Westbrook into his own, is a beast. too. Like, I think Westbrook might be... Uh-oh. You gonna say he's better MVP? than KD? You gonna say he's better than KD? I would, I would take Westbrook <laughs> over KD right wow. now. Wow. I love Westbrook. I would take Westbrook. His all-around game is monster. Triple-double waiting to happen. And he's a high-scoring triple-double. It's not like he's 12 points, 12 assists, 10 rebounds. He's 35 points, 14 assists, <laughs> and 10 rebounds. Like To me, Westbrook, him and him and Curry right now, the most and LeBron, of course, those are the most exciting players in the game. And um, the West, man, they they loaded once again. They're loaded. Yeah. yeah, I mean, people not even like really talking about San Antonio yet, but and they, you know, they're going back to the championship. Those guys they're are going loaded. back to the Western Conference championship. Aldridge, yeah, with Aldridge just explodes yeah. right now. Yeah, well, Aldridge is fitting in perfectly. Damian Lillard is another I love guy Damian out Lillard. there. Like he's a low man on the totem pole. Like mm-hmm. I love that we got this explosion of of point guards and mm-hmm. you know a couple of really cool centers now too. Now, Shaw and Manny, I got a question for you both. What's up? Do you guys think Steph Curry is going to be a better shooter at the end of his career than Ray Allen? Are we witnessing that right now? Yeah. Or? Yeah, 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 oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. He, he He's going to be... He may go down as the... I think he might be the GOAT. Yeah. He may be up there with Reggie. I know we're getting caught in there in the moment. Cause you know we seeing him right now, but yeah. it just if he if he can stay healthy, I'm talking about staying healthy, he's gonna be the goat. Because if you look at him now, it's just so effortless. So crazy. And he's improving every year. He's improving. He's improving. He's like he's like a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like you started off and you might have sold a couple of hundred thousand your first year. You know, going independent. Then you got your major label deal. Now that boy multi platinum now. Yeah. Hits after hits. It's it's real, and he 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 he's feeling like he could be the MVP again, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's feeling like Golden State could win the championship mm-hmm. again because they just gel better as a team now. Like they know each other, yeah. they've been over the hump, they know what it takes, and it's gonna be interesting because the Clippers are loaded, but they've already sh- I, they showed they could beat the Clippers in a yeah in the series. Yo, 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 this is Double XL Any Up. This is Double XL Any Up. It's me, Roger, Shaheem. Um, one quick question that I always like to bring up. Me and my homies talk about this. Um, if you can do a starting five, like a, a, on, a, on a starting five on a team, but fill it with rappers. Yeah. Who who will play point? Who will play shooting guard? Who's center? Who's power forward? Who's small forward? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um... It's difficult. Well, shoot, are we talking about physical attributes or rapping attributes? We talking. I guess. Just, I guess. It's, 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 right, I guess I overall. Got, overall. I got you. I got you. I got. Um. I got Bustin' Rhymes, the home team, mm-hmm. as almost like the player coach mm-hmm. because he he's had uh twenty five years in the in the game mm-hmm. and he knows a lot of tricks in the trade. He done been through every championship and. You know, won all the all the rings and everything like that, and he still got the fire, and he still can compete. So, you know, that's gonna be almost like uh, that's your Phil Jackson. Yeah, I, I, I would have him as almost like my my point. Mm. You know, he he's not gonna be fast. <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna be. You know, he ain't gonna break nobody ankles, but <laughs> he's gonna be the veteran point guard that's. Gonna lead the team almost like a Derek Fisher. Nice. But, you know, with more ability than Derek Fisher, of yeah. course. But he's gonna lead the team. He's gonna be able to bestow his wisdom and he's not gonna make mistakes. He's not gonna turn over. Andre the ball. Miller. Yeah, he's gonna keep everybody on an even kill. Nice, nice, um, nice. I gotta have Wheezy as my shooting guard. Mm. Cause that's a, just a wild man. <laughs> you know, when, when he gets on that mic, he's gonna go crazy. And I need him as a shooting guard. He's gonna put them points on the board when we need to score. I have uh, Drake as my small forward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he's another guy that's very cerebral in the vein of a Larry Bird. Mm-hmm. Um, he's an assassin when, when he needs to be. And he could pass 
because you know he's he's on so many people's records, so yeah. he has no points. He has no problem giving the assists. Mm-hmm. So I mm-hmm. like that. Um, nice. I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna put Ricky Rose mm. as my power forward. Okay. You know he has that deep husky voice. You don't want to test him. He's gonna. He's like the bad guy of the team. Yeah. <laughs> you know he's gonna be our Charles Oakley. There you go. The enforcer. That's what I was he's the enforcer. You know, um, Ross is somebody who you definitely don't want to play with, and and you know off the court in the streets or anything, and um, he's the muscle. Yeah, you know he's he's the he's the mob boss. He's the muscle, and he's not afraid to get his hands dirty, and he's gonna bring that grit. You know, like even if we make it a track, he's gonna bring that just down bottom sewer ratchet ratchetness <laughs> if he needs to. <laughs> so we need to do that. Um, the center is probably gonna be. Um, I think the center is um, probably going to be future. Mm-hmm. You know, if we're thinking about what's going on right now. And um, everybody knows with the center, sometimes you got to run the offense through him. Mm-hmm. And, you know, future is just, his sound is just so dominant right now. It's, it's so prominent and, and it's taking over everything. Like, it's like a Kareem Skyhook. Like, it's, it's unstoppable. And... He's just a really force of nature physically. You know, he's a tall guy. He's a quiet guy. But um, he got a lot of hops. You know, he's not one of those seven-foot centers or anything like that. He might be a 6'10", you know, mm. comparable to a 6'10", like a Boogie. What's Boogie Cousins, like 6'10"? Yeah, he's, he's like 6'10". Like he's like 6'11". Six, <laughs> yeah. Do he, it all. He's like that. And, you know, Future's one of those guys where, you know, again, he gets on everybody's record so he can give you the assist. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if he went, if he needs to get crazy, he going to put the points up. He'll do it on his own. If he need to get ratchet and enforce a little bit, he'll do it. If he needs to get quiet and, you know, just rebound and, 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 and you know, just pick beats or something like that. He's going <laughs> to do that too. He's such a dominant force. So I think that's the, the, that's the five right now. That's a good so five. That's, that's a, a good five. Yeah, that's a good five. That's a solid five. I may do huh, who was my sixth man? I don't know. I may do Vince Staples. Young, hungry. He reminds me of uh Crawford. Yeah. Just ready. Just ready. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, have you heard this Malik Yusuf story, the boxer? That's the craziest shit I ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> so today. He finally came out. He came out. Yeah, I saw that shit is crazy. <laughs> when I went out, you know, I was skimming through the headlines and um at first I was thought it was um my man that was on them Kanye albums. You know, Malik, oh, Malik, Malik Yusuf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, What? Because <laughs> I know him. He a Chicago nigga. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I know he don't even get down like that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I was taking him back and then I I read it close and then I was like, oh. And then he said he woke up with forty five hundred dollars in his pocket. Yeah, I was like, "What? The, what? Get the fuck out of here!" <laughs> I'm like, "Yo, it's okay, man. Like, it's all right. You, you're fine." Just, yeah, that was wild. Yeah, he, you don't need to lie. Like, you know, <laughs> you, the, the, the one thing that that I thought though, I was like, you know, this guy has, has children. Yeah, ten. He has ten kids, and you know. To do the gay porn, he must have been really down on his luck. <laughs> but okay, at least give your kids a little warning. Yeah, you know, don't let them turn up. You know, just a regular Saturday, <laughs> Saturday morning on regular Tuesday, they turn the wall star and they see their pops getting it in with two two other guys. Like, you know, <laughs> give your kids a little warning, man. <laughs> and then when you concoct such a asinine story, yeah. Like, that's I guess that's that's the problem right there. Like, and then they had they had experts. They was they they pulled in like a quote unquote expert to give a secondary quote in the story. <laughs> like yeah, it happens to women all the time. And, <laughs> you know it. You know unfortunately sometimes it does happen to women and, and it's a horrible thing. But that even made the story worse, man. Like why are you 
why are you concocting this, man? Like, it was crazy. It was it was crazy. It was, but we didn't seen it. We didn't seen it all, as Jeezy says. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that shit was crazy, though. I feel bad for the kids, man, because it was just like it's just something so unnecessary. Like, man, look. It is what it is. You don't have to. You don't have to lie about nothing. Just it's a new get, era, man. Yeah, yeah. it's just like you, you're new era, no fitting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like don't. Who wakes up on a train with forty five hundred dollars? <laughs> like the tooth fairy just gave it to him. <laughs> that was crazy. That was a really crazy story. I was like, wow. Yeah, you sleep on a train with that much money, you you get robbed. Shit, right. I'll rob you. Right, right, For right. Real. Shit. I wish I'd seen somebody sleeping with $4,500 on them. It's mine. <laughs> just poking That's out my his pocket. <laughs> it's the money you just poking out his pocket. <laughs> left, it, left it on his lap. Like, oh, that sounds like it's my money. Wow. Yo, but let's go over these um, NFL games. NFL picks. Yes. Let's do it. Giants, 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 Giants. <laughs> and all the way. You know, earlier I was talking about... um. New York getting in our way, man, and, and our own way. And Bruh, I don't know how we lost to the Saints. I feel like the Saints, I mean, we didn't play no defense. Like, we didn't play no we defense. Actually, that was a great game, though. That was one of the best games I ever saw in my life. I, I actually Back and forth. I almost man. had a heart attack. That was, was, a, that was a tech mobile game. It was, I, yo, Eli was on fire. And I'm but just it's, like. It's bad now because it's like when I watch the Giants game, I'm, I'm thinking in the back of my mind, they're going to find a way to fuck it up. It's so crazy. Like I never Same. Was, I, I can't even get confident. Like, okay, we about to take this shit. I, w- I was so mad. I went to the first game in, um, in Dallas. Oh, man. I was there and I was talking my shit so heavy. I was with uh, my guy as fresh. From Dallas, man, and um, I was talking my shit. We went tailgating, and we had a good time. The game was on. I was having a great time. I was the only Giants fan in the <laughs> sea of cowboy lovers, <laughs> and I was still talking my shit so crazy. And they made me look like the biggest imbecile <laughs> in the U.S. <laughs> with some bonehead plays. It was crazy. And I had to hide my face going out. I was I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. There's no team that messes up that gets in their own way more than the Giants, and without a doubt. We come back and we do the same thing the following week. We should have beat the Cowboys. We should have beat the Falcons. Oh, that fumble um, from Eli in the Falcons game. I saw that. I was like, oh, it's game over. And I mean, we were up by 10. I said, oh, no, we're, we're losing. I mean, we shouldn't have. I mean, the the, the Saints game couldn't get what could have went either way. But He um, gets a 20-yard return, and then the, the punter face max him to bring yeah, it to. Oh, yeah. I couldn't believe it. It's crazy because it's like. You know, at least with when Eli was throwing the ball, like when Beckham, he was catching it in, like, on two defenders, on three defenders. Drew Brees, <laughs> he was just throwing to a wide open man. Like it was like nobody was there. Like literally nobody was there. The defense stayed in New York. It really wow. did. It really did. I was did. like, bring JPP and his mango fingers oh, back exact, this Sunday, right? That yeah, hopefully we need them. That's how desperate Giants fans are. We're saying. We're pleading for a guy who blew off his fingers with fireworks <laughs> to come back to our team because <laughs> our defense is so crazy. Yo, now, do you think he's going to be the same type of player? or I don't know, man. I don't, they, I'm reading reports saying he looks phenomenal in camp, like in practice, but it's just like, I don't know, man. Like, I the mean, man really. When, when you lose three fingers. Yeah, the man, like. The man almost blew off his hand. He's going to have to start clotheslining people. Like, <laughs> he got to give him, I don't know how many fans of used to watch the old wrestling from back in the day. Oh, clothesline from hell. Clothesline from hell. But I was even taking it back further to Nikita Koloff, Russian Sickle. Wow. He's going to have to give him that. Google that, y'all. The Russian Sickle by the Russian nightmare Nikita Koloff. He used to take heads off. Lex Luger Sting used to feel that. Ric Flair used to feel that with the Four Horsemen. The nice. Russian Sickle. Just I used to get back to NWA. Oh, I, used to, I used to give that to my cousin all the time. Shout out to my cousin Tyree. I used to give him the Russian sickle all the time. <laughs> Just sneak up from behind him. We'd be in, in any store, like, uh, 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 you know, five and dimes or something like that. Uh, you know, even in Red Lobster online, where, where people <laughs> used to have to get dressed up to go to Red Lobster. Yes, yes. With a blazer on. 
you after know, graduation. <laughs> Number one graduation spot, by the way. Oh, the without spot. a doubt. I went there after my graduation. I think both co- high school and college. I want to say Red Lobster, man. <laughs> but, no, but do you remember when we was little and you used to get dressed up to go to Red Lobster like it was the shit? Oh yeah. And they haven't changed their menu <laughs> in thirty I years. Pre- I used to we used to get dressed up to go to Olive Garden. That shit was so crazy to me. And I think back of it, oh, like yeah. you got to right after church, you got to all right, straighten up. You know what I used to get guard. dressed up for? Sizzlers. You remember Sizzlers? Oh, yeah. man. Sizzlers Shit. was low-key lit. Yeah, three, it was. $3 no steaks. <laughs> $3 steaks. <laughs> All right, so. We're going through the picks. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Okay, tonight, uh, Johnny Manziel, Bengals against the Browns. I hope Johnny lights him up, man. I have, uh, shoot, what's the guy from the Browns? I'm, I'm a few drinks in. I forget his name. He's, Which one? He's Travis on fantasy, Benjamin? I have Travis Benjamin on my on my fantasy football team. Yeah, that man. That man's a problem. And um, he's he's doing pretty good. I think the Bengals gonna win. I think the Bengals. Yeah, I want Johnny Manziel to light them up, though. But I think the Bengals gonna win. Bengals is looking. They look. Andy mean, Dalton. It's regular looks, season, though. Andy so Dalton looks crazy. We'll just crazy. wait until they make it to the playoffs. That's That'll be a whole true. different story. Um, which one gonna skip? Johnny to Manziel this? better step up though. So but you I think, think the Bengals. Browns or Bengals? Bengals gonna win. Bengals. Yeah. Bengals gonna win. Bengals. All right. Um, can we talk about my Jets yeah. real quick? Let's do it. All right, we're playing the Jaguars. Y'all better win that game. Better. I mean, we lost against the Raiders last Y'all week. Y'all should have beat the we Raiders, got, man. Our ass is whooped. Amari Raiders Cooper a is a problem. Though. David Carr is on fire Raiders right now with the Raiders. Yeah, Derek Carr is crazy, man. Raiders. That's the real second year. That's a bad man. Yeah, nah, he's holding down that team. But uh, I see the Jets winning this. What about you guys? Yeah, the Jets yeah, gonna win. Easily. Jets. Okay. I mean, you know, I like with Gino. You never know though. What's the name? He's gonna That's start. That's his nickname, Gino. You never know, Gino. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh um, yeah. The, I got the. I got the Jets. Yeah, Patriots gonna kill the Redskins. It's not. Oh really, yeah. They gonna, not they're even, gonna kill them. That's Patriots. Not even. All that. This is a good Yo, game. Raiders and Steelers. Real quick. Yeah. Gronkowski. May be the most unstoppable person <laughs> in the NFL without I, exaggeration. I think I he's think right. not human. Like if you watch his games, there's no one that can tackle him one on one. Like there's absolutely uh, no you one that can't lead. bring him down. Like it's insane. I think in fantasy football, I think you're gonna see it if not next year, the year after where Gronk is gonna be. You're gonna have to pick him first, like in the like early in the first round, like how like a lot of people. What messed me up in my fantasy football this year is that um, my first round, my first pick was Eddie Lacy. Mm. I figured, okay, he's 25 years old. He's not injured. He's not suspended. You know, he's he's not coming off a, a year of hiatus. You know, Adrian Pete wasn't playing for a year. Yeah. Le'Veon Bell, he was suspended two games, mm. and he's out. Mm. Um, Jamal Charles, it's like he's injury prone. Mm. Yep. And all of those guys, I mean, AP has done okay, but all that, if you look at it coming into this year, all of the top guys that were so, quote, unquote, the top running backs have had, Horrible years yeah. You know Lavian Bell played for like Two three weeks And he's uh, out, out for the year injury Jamal bad. Charles is out for the year mm-hmm. um, AP has done okay But he's not killing it Lacey Is on my team And he's been Horrific He got that bum hamstring he, man He's cost me so many games This year <laughs> Where it's like Jesus Christ Thank you very much Eddie Lacey He's horrible I even had Adrian Arian Foster too And Oh he's, yeah, out. he's, he's out. out He's out He one. gave me a couple Of good games And that's it But um It's it's interesting To see that The top running backs All Are, are down this year And you know We, we got these new guys Like Gurley and oh, he's Gurley's From St. Louis Rams Oh yeah. my He's He's I, He's a problem. And I'm gonna go on record right now. I'm going on record right now and say that if you look at my old tweets, I said New York Giants pick. <laughs> <Dad Lee. laughs> we need we he, we need him Dad so Lee. bad. You know like, I love yo, Eric Flowers. Our running game is is trash. Trash. You know Shane Vereen is okay, but he could have been a secondary guy. Yo, I said Giants pick Gurley. What did they do? Not pick Gurley. They picked a uh, offensive lineman, and what is he doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he's not. He's doing good. You know, he's about to be our leader. He's guaranteed next year. He's gonna be. He's gonna be a captain, without a doubt. Every game he's on the sideline, and they like people rally against him. 
Man, we should. I'd rather have Gurley. <laughs> Gurley, now nah, Gurley's going to be a Pro Bowler for a tra- long he's time. He's a transformative play. I'm like, you know, we we've done good. It's like it's crazy. We've done good with getting like these second, third, eighth round draft picks. Like they turn out to be Victor Cruz, and you know they turn out to be ODB, which is which is cool. But it's like. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Like, girlie, we were supposed to have him. We had the sixth pick. We we he ain't go to ten. We we should have had him. Yeah. We we would have won a couple more of those games. Um Rapid Fire. All right. We got Raiders or Steelers. Who y'all got? Uh, Raiders. I got Raiders. Yeah, I got Raiders. No no Le'Veon Bell, Raiders. Falcons, 49ers. Falcons, yeah. Falcons, yeah. Isn't uh, he's still in got, disarray? He's gonna yeah. sit down now, right? Yeah, yeah he's Kaepernick is done. Yeah, wow, that, that guy's in crazy the, story with him, man. <laughs> that guy's in um, time out. A few years ago, he was the man. Um, Eagles versus Cowboys. I That's the game. Kill each other. That's the game. <laughs> kill each other. <laughs> leave no, leave no blood left. <laughs> for the for the locker room, leave all the blood and 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 sweat on on the field. Yeah. I hope they kill it, not literally kill each other, but I hope they just uh, play each other to the source of to the urge of extinction. overtime on yeah. top of overtime. Let's go for a tie. I hope it's a tie. Hopefully, but I, I think the Eagles will win. Yeah, I, I think the Eagles got I it. I think the Eagles got Cowboys it. Cowboys done. Bears, I, I Chargers. Can't stand them. Well, I think Chargers. I think somehow, Chargers. somewhere. I mean, I loved also when Cutler and um, Phillip Rivers play each other. They hate each other. Yeah. I think the Bears going to take it. Chargers, they're not showing me anything. Keenan mm-hmm. Allen out, too. Uh, that's my. He was. That's the dude. Oh, here's the game of the week. Packers, Panthers. Woo. This is a tough one. Yeah. Is, um, I think Packers come back. They got They got, They got. got brutalized by the, um, by the Broncos last week. I think they got a point to prove. Um... Panthers, they're not going to go undefeated. So if they're going to lose, I think they're going to lose to one of the best teams. The they Packers. almost lost last week. Yeah, I mean, yeah. luckily that, game, that was the game. Yeah, luck came through like the last. I don't know, like last five minutes killed it. Rams, Vikings. I'm going with the Rams. Same. They're playing. Going good. with the Vikings. Bridgewater has definitely been doing his thing this year. Yes. I'm, ex- I'm excited to see Gurley versus AP, but yeah. um, I expect both of those guys to have good games. But um, I think Rams defense is going to be too much. Cool. Titans, Saints. 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 Yeah. Saints. Saints ain't got shit. Titans are trash. Titans in disarray. Saints, Saints put up 52 points last week. They'll get. 30 this week on the Titans. We all agree Giants over, over Buccaneers? Absolute. Facto. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm going Ooh. with the Bucks. I'm going with the Bucks. Ooh. Jameis Winston. And then we got you Broncos. You must be drinking that, Jameis. <laughs> well, I'm a, see, I lived in Tampa for a little bit, so I kind of got some love for the Bucks. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, mm. so I, but I was, in, I was in Tampa when the Bucks won the championship that year that nice. Gruden came in. Nice. So, you know, they're big fans out there. So I was like, you know, I got a soft spot for the fucking Buccaneers. But, yeah. Broncos, Colts? Broncos. Broncos. They're going to stay undefeated. Broncos is a problem. The Colts, what the hell has happened to Andrew Luck? Yeah, man. Seems like there's something inside inside the clubhouse that something's wrong with them. Because this, Luck is not doing his thing at all like he was like the last two years. Yeah, that regression yeah, you is don't crazy. See a, you don't see a regression yeah, like this. That regression is like, crazy. He should be. And shout out to Tom Brady, man, because I think really think that. And you know, you, if you guys are gracious enough to bring me back at the end of the year, I think the Broncos. Are, I mean, I think the Patriots are gonna go undefeated. I can Regular see that. season. I can't see them go undefeated. I like I like I think Tom Brady's playing phenomenal, but I, I just going can't see him. Undefeated, bro. Tom Brady is the most dynamic passer right now in the NFL. Him and Gronkowski have something special. It's mm-hmm. an unstoppable weapon. I don't see I don't see them beating them. And Belichick just is is a mastermind with that defense. Mm-hmm. And um, I think they're gonna go. I, I don't know if they're gonna win the Super Bowl, but I think they're gonna have another undefeated season. And if a quarterback has two undefeated seasons, oh yeah, he's top he all time. is the greatest of all time. I was on the Peyton Manning bandwagon for a long time, and I still love Peyton, but Brady is the GOAT. Yeah. Mm. All right, Shaheem, so what you got working on? What's, what's, what's going on with you in the future? Man, we working on this Bustin' Rhymes and Friends concert. I'm the president of the conglomerate record label, so... 
um, December 5th, Bustin' Rhymes and Friends. Uh, we have a lot of surprises. My my iPhone, my hotline bling is going crazy. <laughs> you, know, you know, I wish it was for a little bit more sex, but it's for business right now. <laughs> and, um, it's going crazy. I'm getting a lot of calls from your favorite artists saying they want to be down with the show. So this show's going to be I crazy. Can, Where's I, it going to be at? Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Nice. I can definitely confirm Mary J. Blige is going to be in the building. Nice. I can confirm Jeremiah going to be in the building. I can confirm French Montana. Nice. I can confirm Lil Wayne. Nice. Whoa. You know, he don't come around these parts too often. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's big. You know, it's a couple of other people. Nice, it's nice. a it's a lot of other people I would say, and you're gonna see songs that perform that you never saw before. Some of your favorite records, and you know it's not just. Oh man, I almost gave some away. What was that? Um, Let us know, man. Let us know. <laughs> He's a, it's, it's gonna be a milestone moment. Busters, he started the celebration of his 25 years since Lisa and New School started. They started nice. in '91, so nice. you know 2016 is gonna be officially. 25 years but you know we started off right with this concert it's been one of his dream projects uh look for our guy ot genesis he has this new record called cut it with young Dolph. nice um really heating up the clubs you you'll hear it this weekend if you go out to the clubs it's, it's nice J doe theme song with seven streeter um i got a couple of new web series i have coming out soon probably top of the year and um Fingers crossed, man. Giants going to the playoffs. Yeah. Fingers I'm, crossed we're going to get this NFC East. Say hope, hopefully, man. Hopefully, you Giants fans are, will be celebrating in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll that wraps up our third episode of Any Up. Another great third episode. episode thir- they say third times a charm. Yeah. Who else has been on? We had Troy last week. <laughs> Troy have? We, yeah. Okay. And we had uh, Busy Mars the first week, so you know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, so, so far, your third guest. Talk. Nobody knew their sports like me, did they? Uh, I mean, you went in. You went I in. Mets-wise? <laughs> Shit. I was like, oh, man, we got to wow. go to a game together. I love it. <laughs> I love it. We gotta go get some Knicks games, y'all. And yeah. you know what's great? We didn't even talk about wrestling, and Shy's one a big ass wrestling fan. Too. Oh, oh, then you Late gotta come news. back then. Seth, Seth Rollins, Rollins he's not a champion. There's gonna be a WWE tournament at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. I just That's crazy. We just Seth, got the breaking news. Seth is a gr- Seth. I love him as a champion. I, I think he's he's a dynamic he's a great guy. Heel. He's a great heel. Um, he's a great worker. I mean, his his in ring, he could give you acrobatics. He could give you the the uh, science on on the mat. He's good with the mic. Pause. Um, shit, Roman Reigns step up to the plate. It's your turn, baby. We'll see, mm. we'll see. We'll we'll see what happens. I would love to see Cesaro win it though. <laughs> Cesaro section right here. I would love to see Cesaro take it, but um, Roman Reigns, it's your time, baby. Step up. Yeah. <laughs> But thank y'all for listening. Please check at XXLMag.com for all the hip-hop news. This is Manny. Roger. And Shaheem. Shaheem Reed. And, and we I'm out. I'm off that drinky drink. <laughs> Lit. Peace. See you, man. <laughs>